Lin Yicheng married Lu Shanha for a full three years, and she didn't expect to heat up his heart. At least, she thought she was different. As a result, Lu Shanha found a lover outside, placed it on the tip of his heart, and treated her like pearls and treasures. Lin Yicheng finally recognized reality, got divorced gracefully, and turned around to leave. Five years later, Lin Yicheng has a little boy by his side. Lu Shanha looked at him and sneered, little beast. The little boy looked at him coldly and said, old beast. Five years is enough time for Lu Shanha to reform himself and start anew. He has confidence in reclaiming his wife. Until he realized. Something special, why is the world filled with his rival in love? Chapter 1 Husband takes other women to see a doctor. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Huaibei Fengyuan Hospital, Emergency Department. Lin Cheng had undergone several surgeries in a row and was so busy that he felt dizzy and dizzy. He was about to leave work when he had just taken off his work clothes halfway when the door was suddenly pushed open. Lu Shanha appeared in front of her wearing an expensive handmade suit. A man's temperament is cold and noble, with cold and stern eyebrows and eyes, a high nose and thin lips, and a firm and delicate jaw, giving him a beautiful appearance. But at this moment, he was holding a petite girl in his arms, with a cold expression that couldn't hide his nervousness. She's injured, show her. Lin Cheng's gaze fell on the girl's face. The girl has a sweet appearance and innocent eyes. Lin Cheng has always known that what Lu Shanha likes is this one. It has been several years and his taste has not changed. Where was it injured? I twisted my ankle. Lin Cheng lowered his head expressionlessly and looked at her ankle, saying, How did it twist? Can it move? As soon as her hand touched, the girl took a deep breath of air and tears welled up in her eyes. Lu Shanha immediately squatted down and glanced at the girl's injured area with a cold voice. Can you be gentle? He lowered his head and said gently to the girl, Hold on a bit. Yang Yutong tearfully said, It's not my fault, Dr. Lin. I'm too sensitive. Having been married to Lu Shanha for three years, Lin Cheng had never heard him coax her with such a gentle tone. It's also ironic enough. Lin Cheng's lips curved and he opened the order, let's go take a photo first. Lu Shanha took Yang Yutong and went to shoot a film. When the film came out, Lin Cheng said, the bones and ligaments are fine. Just go home and rest. I'll prescribe some medicine and remember to apply it on time when you go home. She wrote the list and handed it over to Lu Shanha. Lu Shanha spoke softly, wait here, I'll go pay. Yang Yutong nodded obediently. Lu Shanha looked coldly at Lin Cheng and advised, Can you help me take care of Tong Tong? Before Lin Cheng could react, Lu Shanha walked away with long legs. Yang Yutong looked down at Lin Cheng and explained softly, I. I accidentally twisted a bit. Mr. Lu saw it. Mr. Lu. Was kind.hearted and brought me to the hospital. Is Lu Shanha a kind.hearted person? This is probably the funniest joke that Lin Cheng has heard this year, not one of them. Previously, when Lu Shanha's parents were hospitalized, he entrusted matters such as registration and payment to his secretary. Today, I personally went to pay the inspection fee to Yang Yutong. Lin Cheng felt a bit sour and irritable in his heart, but without any ripples on his face, he said some precautions. Yang Yutong nodded. In no time, Lushan returned. Yang Yutong looked at Lu Shanha tearfully and said, Mr. Lu, Dr. Lin said a lot just now, but I can't remember. Lu Shanha's gaze was a gentle indulgence that Lin Cheng had never seen before. You don't need to remember, just leave it to me. Yang Yutong blinked with admiration in his eyes, Mr. Lu, you're amazing. After the two of them left, the little nurse approached and said, Dr. Lin, that man was so handsome just now. He looks very much like the president of the Lu group. The Lu family is at the top of the pyramid in the wealthy circle of Huaibei, often making headlines. 
who wouldn't know Lu Shanha? Lin Chang said expressionlessly, I don't know. Then, he took off his work clothes and left work. Lin Chang was picked up from behind when he returned home. The familiar aura of a man left her stunned. He just came back yesterday, why did he come back today? Lu Shanha's voice was cold. When you see me with Yutong, you can't help but complain to the old man. Forcing me to go home. Lin Cheng, you really have it. Lin Cheng straightened his spine and said, Grandpa said we should have children. Lu Shanha remained silent, and in the next second, his breath enveloped Lin Cheng. His needs in this area are already higher than those of ordinary people, and tonight he was stimulated by something, even more majestic than usual. Lin Cheng could hardly resist his collision and couldn't help but whisper, You, please slow down. Lu Shanha bit at the sensitive part of her body and kept moving, If it's slow, how can I satisfy you? Lin Cheng went to bite his Adam's apple, but was grabbed by the man's slender waist, invading even harder. Who would have thought that a cold and indifferent man would be so passionate in bed? Lin Cheng slept until noon the next day, had dinner, received a call from his good friend, and went out to make an appointment. In the High Dot End Club, Lin Cheng had just entered when he saw a somewhat familiar figure in his spare time. That figure entered a private room, and if she remembers correctly, it was Lu Shanha's exclusive room. So, is Lu Shan River also here? I sent a message to my friend, and Lin Cheng went straight over and knocked on the door. Just as I lifted my hand, the door opened from inside. An innocent and pure face with a sweet smile appeared in front of her. Yang Yutong was wearing a doll neck dress, looking cute and charming. Lin Cheng couldn't help but look down at his lotus leaf collar, his eyes flickering with a hint of melancholy. Shanha, you're back. The smile on Yang Yutong's face disappeared when he saw Lin Cheng. She blinked, her hands behind her, and pursed her lips. It looks more harmless. Where is Lushan River? Lin Cheng glanced into the private room and spoke directly. Last night, she was troubled by Lushan River for a long time, and coupled with meeting friends, she had no intention of dressing up, dressed simply, and was full of laziness. But her facial features are outstanding, even without applying makeup, her beauty cannot be ignored. That's right, her facial features are incredibly cold, and she's not really suitable for such cute clothes. Yang Yutong saw that it was her, put aside his other thoughts, took a step back, and a hint of panic flashed on his face in an instant. Mr. Lu. Just now it was called Shanha, and now it's Mr. Lu again. Lin Cheng patiently asked again, where did he go? He went to buy something for me. Yang Yutong bit her lower lip and spoke more innocently, my menstrual cycle has suddenly arrived. Lin Cheng held his arm and raised an eyebrow. She grew up with Lu Shanha since childhood and got married for three years, but they never used Lu Shanha to buy things for her. Not to mention, it's something so private that women use. And Lin Cheng just realized now that the suit jacket worn by Yang Yutong seemed familiar to him. After all, she was the wife of Lu Shanha, who was openly married. Looking at Yang Yutong like this, he dared not look at her in the eye, lowered his head, and said in a quieter voice, I should. Be back soon. As soon as she finished speaking, a man behind her walked this way and said, Tong Tong, why are you standing there? Your family has been walking for a while, and you can't wait anymore. Before he could finish speaking, he saw Lin Cheng. The private room is not quiet, and Lin Cheng may not be able to hear his words. The man felt inexplicably guilty towards Lin Cheng's beautiful and dark eyes. He laughed twice and went back. Yang Yutong became even more panicked and said, Don't misunderstand. Lu is always afraid of my embarrassment, so he kindly helped me, which is why. In the morning, I was enthusiastic, but now I am kind.hearted. She is the wife of Lu Shanha, and she doesn't even know that Lu Shanha has so many advantages. And she also heard what the man said just now. 
That man is the youngest son of Lu Shanha and has been playing with him since childhood. His attitude can explain some issues. Back then, that man's opinion of her was not average. Let's listen to what he just called Yang Yutong if it weren't for Lu Shanha's instruction or tacit approval, those people wouldn't be so indecisive. After all, among the second generation in the upper class circle of Huaibei City, who is not above expectations, how could they be so amiable to a new secretary? Lin Cheng glanced at Yang Yutong again, and then she realized that the girl in front of her. Had she seen her somewhere before? The familiar footsteps came from behind, and Lin Cheng turned around and saw Lushan River. Chapter 2 I disregard you as dirty. You are listening at novel full dot audio. The man wore a cold and dignified demeanor that had long held a high position, but he was holding an ordinary black plastic bag in his hand. Needless to say, it contains the physiological supplies that Yang Yutong needs now. Lin Cheng withdrew his gaze and asked him, Grandpa wants us to go back to the old house for dinner tonight. Can you go? Lu Shanha didn't look at him, his eyes fixed on Yang Yutong and said, Are you still feeling unwell? Have you drunk hot water? After he finished speaking, he reached out and handed the thing over. Yang Yutong shyly smiled and took it, then quickly glanced at Lin Cheng before saying, It's much better, thank you. Go ahead, I'll wait for you here. Lu Shanha looked at her with soft eyes and added, I'll take you home later. Yang Yutong carefully glanced at Lin Cheng again, then turned around and left. Did you come here? Lu Shanha just went to see Lin Cheng. Is it interesting? Lin Cheng did not defend himself and only said, Did Mr. Lu take this? Seriously? Previously, most of the people who spread rumors about him were female celebrities in the entertainment industry. But Lin Cheng never cared about it. Lu Shanha looked into the distance and spoke with a hint of melancholy in his voice. She's very well behaved, don't touch her. Lin Cheng's fingertips trembled, and his face still had a smile on it. Just like it. In the evening, she went to the old house alone and had dinner with the old man. When he was about to leave, the old man asked someone to bring a box of pastries and said, What Shanha loved to eat when he was a child, take it back with you. As a result, Lu Shanha didn't go home for several consecutive days. Lin Cheng had no choice but to personally deliver the pastries to the company as he couldn't handle the old man's duties. She went directly to the top floor of the company, and the door of Lu Shanha's office was not closed. Just as she was about to knock, she heard coquettish laughter coming from inside. It's Yang Yutong. She said, I can't do such an easy thing well, am I really stupid? Then, Lu Shanha's voice rang out and he said, It's okay, I'll teach you. Dr. Lin must be very skilled, right? I heard she used to be a top student. But I'm so stupid. Lin Cheng couldn't help but chuckle lightly. Lu Shanha said, She. You're different from her, and besides, she was. Stupid when she was a child. Lin Cheng couldn't help but push the door and enter. Seeing her suddenly enter, Yang Yutong visibly panicked. She immediately stood up from beside Lu Shanha and spoke awkwardly, Lin, Dr. Lin. Lu Shanha looked up and saw Lin Cheng's familiar indifference in his cold eyes. Why did you come? Lin Cheng placed the pastry on his desk and spoke calmly, Grandpa asked me to bring it to you. Just leave this matter to the driver, Lu Shanha frowned. Is there anything else? Is it her fault for disturbing his and Yang Yutong's solitude? Lin Cheng glanced at Yang Yutong. Yang Yutong immediately bit her lower lip, blinked her big eyes, and then looked at Lu Shanha helplessly. Lu Shanha spoke calmly, you go out first. Yang Yutong gave a gentle nod and then quickly glanced at Lin Cheng before leaving. Tell me, what's going on? Lu Shanha spoke with a hint of impatience. Also, in front of her, Lu Shanha has never had much patience. Lin Cheng said, if you don't want children, give your grandfather a reason. Also, Yang Yutong, 
you have some discretion. Don't make things look bad when the time comes. Are you taking care of me? Lu Shanha stood up and walked towards her. Lin Cheng shook his head and said, We agreed before that we wouldn't interfere with each other. But I noticed that you treat her. Very differently. Lu Shanha, don't forget, you are someone with a wife. Lu Shanha reached out and trapped her between himself and his desk. He lowered his gaze and looked at Lin Cheng, despite her outstanding facial features, her expression was always indifferent and cold. Even if you're wearing sweet and cute clothes, what's wrong? It's neither good nor bad. He sneered, of course she's different. I warn you, don't touch her. He was too close, and their breath intertwined. Lin Cheng couldn't help but stop smiling. The man pinched her chin and said, what are you hiding from? Don't worry, I have a sense of propriety. At least. I won't sleep with her. Lin Cheng sneered, do you really not know how to do it? Or are you reluctant to let go? After a few seconds of silence, Lu Shanha spoke, I can't bear to part with it. That's just right. Lin Cheng pushed him away. Otherwise, I think you're dirty. Lin Cheng didn't look back and left the office directly. Just as I went out, I saw Yang Yutong. Yang Yutong stood outside holding a cup of coffee. Lin Cheng glanced at her and said, Lu Shanha doesn't like drinking coffee. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yang Yutong's face showed a hint of confusion. But I gave Mr. Lu coffee, and he drank it all. Love the house and the crow. Because I like Yang Yutong, I can even drink coffee that I don't usually like. Lin Cheng couldn't describe the feeling in his heart, his lips curved and he turned around to leave. She is going to attend a friend's art exhibition. Originally, her friend suggested that she go with Lu Shanha, but Lu Shanha said he didn't have time. Lin Cheng had to go by himself. At the art exhibition, Lin Cheng met many acquaintances and greeted them one by one. Many people ask about Lu Shanha, and Lin Cheng's explanation is also based on this statement. He is busy and doesn't have time. He really manages countless things every day. Lin Cheng looked over. The man speaking shook the red wine glass in his hand, with a hint of arrogance in his eyes, revealing dissatisfaction. All right, Lin Cheng walked over and smiled at him. You know, he's always like this. Isn't that what you're used to? Jiang Jichen glared at her and said, Stinky problem. Lin Cheng remained silent. Seeing a hint of desolation in her lowered gaze, Jiang Jichen suddenly fell into battle and said, Can't I stop talking? Lin Cheng touched his glass and said, Thank you. When he was a child, he didn't like us. Our people and his people can never play together. Why do you just? Jiang Jichen couldn't help but say, I suspect he might have tricked you. Lin Cheng glared at him and said, You're still talking. Jiang Jichen became more determined and said, Why can't I say that? Look at those foolish things you've done, because he changed his dressing preferences and that's fine. However, today's clothes are very beautiful and suitable for you. Shut up. Jiang Jichen snorted and muttered softly, is it so difficult to admit to being blind? I heard he has been getting along with a new member of the secretariat recently. Lin Cheng heard it and didn't blame him this time. He just said, maybe. I'm really blind. Seeing her like this, Jiang Jichen couldn't bear it anymore. He couldn't help but reach out and rub her hair, saying, all right, all right, I'm teasing you. The design I just made, Lin Cheng pushed away his hand. It's all messed up by me. And how many times have I told you, I've grown up, don't touch my head, there's a difference between men and women. We've sworn off while drinking cola. I'm your brother. What's wrong with touching your hair? Lin Cheng glanced at him and said, you're such a big person. If you're really idle, just go find a girlfriend, okay? Jiang Jichen averted his gaze and said, Brother has a high eye. I don't like ordinary people. 
Lin Cheng had the best relationship with him when he was a child. The two had the same affection as siblings, and now they work in the same hospital. Jiang Jichen is tall and handsome, humorous and witty, but when working in the hospital, he wears a white coat and golden glasses, with a refined and ascetic demeanor. There are many people who like him, but I haven't seen him talk about a girlfriend for so many years. You can just procrastinate. As you get older and no one wants you, you'll become an old bachelor. After Lin Cheng finished speaking, as soon as he turned around, he saw Yang Yutong walking over holding onto the arm of the landing mountain and river. Did Lushan River actually come? Still bringing Yang Yutong with you. Chapter 3 Is still somewhat self-aware. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The man is tall and handsome, while the girl is sweet and small, looking very suitable. But in such occasions, most people wear formal attire, especially women, whose formal attire competes with each other. Looking at Yang Yutong's white tee dot shirt and jeans again, they seem a bit out of place. Obviously, Lu Shanha did not pay attention to such details. But looking at Lin Cheng's beautifully fitted silver gray dress, Yang Yutong bit her lower lip, and a hint of grievance and embarrassment appeared on her beautiful face. What's wrong? Lu Shanha lowered his eyes and asked her. Yang Yutong whispered, they are all dressed so formally. Especially Dr. Lin, her dress is so beautiful. In the gaze that Lu Shanha had just regained, there was still a hint of coldness. As soon as he entered, he saw Lin Cheng and Jiang Jichen chatting and laughing. Jiang Jichen also touched Lin Cheng's head. Tell him to pay attention to propriety, and what about her? Lin Cheng frowned slightly and looked at Lu Shanha. He was only told to pay attention to propriety before, but now he dares to openly bring people into the public sight. Fortunately, she just heard Lu Shanha introduce someone and only said that Yang Yutong is a special assistant. It's normal for Tai Zhu to occasionally make a guest appearance as the boss's girlfriend. Walking up to Lin Cheng's side, Yang Yutong released his hand holding onto the landing mountain and river, and timidly spoke, Dr. Lin. Lu Shanha looked up and down at Lin Cheng, and had to admit that she was good dot looking and had a good figure. The dress completely highlighted her cool and ethereal temperament. This kind of clothing is suitable for her. I don't know what kind of judgment she had when wearing clothes before. He didn't even glance at Jiang Jichen and said directly, where did you buy the dress? If it's convenient for you, take Tong Tong and buy a few pieces. Before Lin Cheng could speak, Yang Yutong quickly waved his hand beside him and said, No need, I can't afford it. Lu Shanha smiled and looked at her, Silly girl, I'll buy it for you. Yang Yutong immediately smiled sweetly, with a hint of shyness in her smile. So, how could you be so embarrassed? If you like it, buy it, Lu Shanha said and went to see Lin Cheng. Then I'll swipe my card. Sorry, Lin Cheng said coldly, the clothes are custom dot made and cannot be purchased. As soon as she finished speaking, Yang Yutong's eyes turned red. She gently tugged at Lu Shanha's sleeve and said, Mr. Lu, forget it, I, where can I wear custom dot made clothes? Jiang Jichen spoke beside him, some people have some self dot awareness. Lu Shanha gave Jiang Jichen a cold glance. Why not? Lu Shanha withdrew his gaze and looked at Lin Cheng. Which company does the customization come from? You bring Tong Tong. Forget it, tell me, I'll take her. Lin Cheng's fingertips trembled as she held the wine glass, but she still smiled and said, It's my exclusive designer, I'm afraid you really can't buy it. Your exclusive designer. Lu Shanha thought for a moment and said, Is it Ji Shuyan? Ji Xuyan is Lin Cheng's close friend and is currently working on fashion design. Lin Cheng didn't expect him to know and nodded, yes. Since she is your designer, she can also be Tong Tong's designer, Lu Shanha said casually, just tell her. Forget it. Yang Yutong bit his lower lip and the corners of his eyes were slightly red. Mr. Lu, don't make things difficult for Dr. Lin. 
since she doesn't want to. Before she could finish her sentence, Lu Shanha immediately questioned Lin Cheng, you don't want to. You can let Ji Shuyan make money, why don't you want to? Lin Cheng put down his glass and said, okay, I'll talk to her later. Tell the designer what you like, Lu Shanha said softly to Yang Yutong, lowering his head. Yang Yutong gave Lin Cheng a timid glance before saying, I want something similar to Dr. Lin's, I wonder if it's okay. Of course not a problem. Before Lu Shanha could finish speaking, Jiang Jichen said again, don't be afraid of wearing the same clothes. Whoever is ugly will be embarrassed. Alas, I don't know where some people have the courage to wear the same style as others. Yang Yutong's eye circles immediately turned red. Lu Shanha. Jiang Jichen. Lin Cheng interrupted Lu Shanha, this is an exclusive customization, only one piece. You can let her make other styles. You have a lot of dresses, right? Just this one, so what about giving it to her? Lu Shanha said with anger in his tone, I remember you're not such a stingy person. Give it to her. Clothes can be worn, isn't that right? Men can also wear them. Jiang Jichen was about to say something more when Lin Cheng grabbed him. She smiled and said, okay. She finished speaking and turned around to leave. Lu Shanha was about to lift his leg when Yang Yutong took his arm and said, Shanha, I feel a bit uncomfortable here. Jiang Jichen sneered beside him and stepped out of his long legs to pursue Lin Cheng. Lu Shanha withdrew his gaze and lowered his gaze to look at Yang Yutong. Since we're not feeling well, let's go back first. In the next two days, Lin Cheng did not see Lushan River. She went home once. The Lin family is located in Huaibei, which is naturally one of the top families. Otherwise, Lin Cheng wouldn't have married Lu Shanha either. So she grew up with Lu Shanha when she was a child. There's no way, the two companies have always had business dealings. But it's also strange that since childhood, she has been at odds with those people like Lu Shanha. One side, led by Jiang Jichen and her, and the other side, led by Lu Shan River. The two sides didn't like each other, and when they were young, they would argue lightly and fight heavily. When I grow up, I don't fight anymore. I also find it annoying to watch each other. So both sides have some criticisms about her marriage to Lu Shanha. But for the Lin family, marrying Lin Cheng into the Lu family is a great joy. After all, in the second generation circle of Huaibei, Lu Shanha is a top performer. Lin Cheng actually doesn't like going home very much. When she chose to study medicine, she had a very big conflict with her family. Both parents believe that she was born into a wealthy family and will also marry into it in the future. Being a doctor is hard and tiring and I often work overtime. I haven't heard of any wealthy young lady who works as a doctor. Moreover, parents place too much emphasis on gains and losses. In short, as he grew up, Lin Cheng had less communication with his parents. Married to the Lu family, she has only returned a few times. This time, Lin Coaching called to ask her to come back, but didn't say anything. He only said that everyone in the family missed her and asked her to come back for a meal. But Lin Cheng knew that Lin Coaching was busy making money, while LV Xiaowan was enthusiastic about his wife's social life. Both of them rarely cared about Lin Cheng. Sure enough, when he returned home and sat at the dinner table, without a few pleasantries, Lin Coaching stepped into the main topic and said, Orange, are the mountains and rivers still so busy? Busy, Lin Cheng said without looking up, such a big family business is neither busy nor realistic. You care more about him and take care of him, you know. Lin Cheng let out a sigh. Lin Coaching said, he has a new project in his hands, and we have a subsidiary to work on. When you come back, you can tell him. Dad, Lin Cheng looked up, I never get involved in his company's affairs. It's one thing that you don't intervene but when you tell him, it's another thing, L.V. Xiaowan said. Isn't the original intention of our two families' marriage alliance a win.win -win cooperation? Yes, Lin Coaching said, this project must be won. 
remember to tell him. He won't listen to my words. Seeing Lin Cheng's expression of not getting enough oil and salt, Lin Coaching slammed his chopsticks and said, What's the use of wanting you? What benefits have you gained from marrying into the Lu family? Chapter 4 At this time, focus a little bit. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Lin Cheng doesn't understand the business world, but she also knows that since the marriage between Lu and Lin, the wealth of the Lin family has expanded by at least three times. That's all, Lin Coaching is not satisfied yet. Lin Cheng put down his chopsticks and stood up, I've finished eating. Let's go back first and eat slowly. Lin Coaching roared behind her, don't forget what your grandmother said to you before leaving. Lin Cheng's figure froze for a moment, then froze for a few seconds before finally leaving. Just arrived at the hospital, she received a phone call from Yang Yutong. At first, she saw a strange number and didn't want to answer it, but her phone kept ringing, so she had to answer. As soon as it was connected, Yang Yutong's crying voice rang out. Dr. Lin, come quickly, the mountains and rivers are injured. Lin Cheng hurriedly arrived and found that Lu Shanha's hands were already wrapped. Seeing Lin Cheng, he frowned and said, why did you come? Lin Cheng glanced at Yang Yutong without answering, only asking, how did it happen? Lu always. It was to protect me that I got hurt. Yang Yutong sobbed beside her, I've shed a lot of blood. It's okay, Lu Shanha smiled and said, it's a minor injury. It'll be over in a few days. Have you checked? Is there anything wrong with the bones and ligaments? Lin Cheng frowned and asked coldly, if it's a sharp injury, we still need to break the cold. Yang Yutong sniffed and said, Dr. Lin, you stay calm. Unlike me, when I see Mr. Lu injured, I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. Lu Shanha glanced at Lin Cheng. Lin Cheng's eyes were clear and his expression was cold, showing no signs of worry. In the end, Lu Shanha followed Lin Cheng to the hospital for a check. Up, but fortunately did not harm the bones and ligaments. Yang Yutong's tears fell again and he said, That's great. If Mr. Lu has any problems, I will have a lifelong conscience. If that's the case, I would rather hurt myself. With me around, you won't get hurt, Lu Shanha spoke softly. Don't cry, I'll take you to a big meal later. You can leave if it's okay, Lin Cheng stood up. I have another meeting. After she finished speaking and left, Yang Yutong looked at her back and said to Lu Shanha, Dr. Lin. Are you angry? Lu Shanha also stood up and said, don't think too much. As a result, as soon as he left the clinic, he saw Jiang Jichen coming out of another clinic and directly leaning on Lin Cheng's shoulder. Lin Cheng. He called her in a cold voice. Lin Cheng stood still without looking back. On the contrary, Jiang Jichen turned to look at him and said, Oh, President Lu, rare guest. Why did you come to our hospital? After speaking, he went to see Lin Cheng and said, Looking for you. He hooked onto Lin Cheng's shoulder and spoke in this way, as if from a distance he was about to kiss Lin Cheng's side face in the next second. Lu Shanha walked over with a handsome face and pulled off Jiang Jichen's arm. Jiang Jichen covered his arm and let out a scream. Lin Cheng immediately supported him and glared angrily at Lu Shanha, What are you doing? What am I doing? Lu Shanha's voice was cold as if it had been tempered with ice. Do you know that you're married? What do you two look like, hunchbacked and hooked? What do we look like? Jiang Jichen cut his throat and said, when you were holding another woman to see a doctor before, why didn't you remember that you were married? Why, only your state officials allowed us to set fire, and we were not allowed to light the orange lights. This is between me and Lin Cheng. Lu Shanha looked at him coldly. It has nothing to do with you. I. Ah Chen, Lin Cheng tugged at him before looking at Lu Shanha, do you have anything else to do? From childhood to adulthood, Lin Cheng has always been called Jiang Jichen like this. The relationship between the two has always been very close. 
Lu Shanha's face was very unpleasant and he said, when we talk as a couple, should some people automatically leave. Jiang Jichen was about to have a seizure when Lin Cheng pulled at him again. He snorted and turned around to leave. Jiang Jichen is actually a hot-tempered person, but often Lin Cheng can stop him with just one glance and one action. Lu Shanha felt an inexplicable sense of dryness in his heart. Afterwards, you can come to the matter of changing my hands. He needs to change his medicine every two days for the injury on his hand. Lin Cheng raised his eyebrows and looked at him, are you coming to the hospital? No, Lu Shanha looked at her coldly. Change at home. As soon as he finished speaking, Yang Yutong appeared beside him and said, isn't Dr. Lin still going to a meeting? Lin Cheng curled his lips and smiled, yes, I won't accompany you anymore. Goodbye. Lu Shanha stared at Lin Cheng's back in a white coat, with deep eyes and no visible emotional fluctuations. Yang Yutong felt a little uneasy for no reason and quickly took Lu Shanha's arm, saying, let's go back. During the meeting, Lin Cheng was a bit distracted. Jiang Jichen, who was sitting next to her, tapped on her folder and whispered, what are you thinking? Lin Cheng smiled and shook his head. There are some things that Jiang Jichen doesn't need to know. Otherwise, with his temper, he might be going to fight against Lu Shanha. After a day, it was time to finish work and Lin Cheng returned home early. Today, it's time for Lu Shanha's hands to change their dressing. But Lin Cheng waited until after 9 o'clock, and Lu Shanha didn't come back either. It seems that his words at the time were just a casual remark. But I took it seriously. Wait here foolishly. Lin Cheng curled his lips and smiled self-deprecatingly. After she finished taking a shower and blowing her hair, she heard some movement in the foyer. Lu Shanha has returned. The man saw her and walked inside with his cufflinks undone. The wound on the hand was obviously bandaged again. Lin Cheng thought he wouldn't come back and didn't wear his usual cute and charming pajamas. A black silk camisole nightgown set off her skin like jade or snow. There are no extra decorations on the body, but the black and beautiful long hair, delicate and beautiful collarbones, and the snow dot white and round underbones are enough to make a man's blood boil. Lu Shanha's gaze fell on her with a scorching warmth. Unlike those cute and stylish pajamas in the past, today she is particularly enchanting and charming. Lu Shanha's Adam's apple moved and he raised his hand to grab the person, saying, How much do you miss me in this outfit? Lin Cheng thought to himself, It's because he thinks you're not coming back that he's dressed like this. The man's hand was placed on her waist, scorching hot. Lin Cheng pressed his hands against his chest and said, Did you change the dressing? Lu Shanha lowered his head and kissed her earlobe, Do you care about me so much? You said to go home and ask me to change my dressing. The man's kiss paused for a moment before casually speaking, I forgot. Lin Cheng wanted to say something more. He impatiently pinched her chin and said, at this moment, focus a little. Next, Lin Cheng was speechless. Even the moans at the exit were shattered by the man's impact. The black silk nightgown she wore for the first time in front of a man was torn apart by the man and fell sadly to the floor. Before being tossed around by the man for an hour or two and falling into a deep sleep, Lin Cheng was still thinking. Lu Shanha, do you really like that clothes or not? I don't know how long I slept, but halfway through, Lin Cheng heard his phone ringing. She reluctantly opened her eyes and saw Lu Shanha answer the phone. Okay. Don't cry, I'll come over right away. Chapter 5 Who is your name sister? You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Lin Cheng looked at his phone and it was not yet 12 o'clock. That is to say, this man has just finished farming on her and is about to rush to the next scene to coax Yang Yutong. He's really busy. Lin Cheng didn't know what had happened, she only heard the sobs of Yang Yutong. Lu Shanha hung up the phone and started getting dressed. Lin Cheng still carried the satisfaction and sourness of extreme pleasure. 
She lay on the bed and watched as Lu Shanha lifted his pants, covering his distinct abdominal muscles. He said while wearing clothes, Tong Tong's younger brother has had a car accident. I'll go take a look. If it's serious, could you help contact the hospital? Forget it, you can come with me. Lin Cheng didn't move. He was already buttoning his shirt and frowned as he looked over, why don't you move? I don't seem obligated to help you. After careful consideration, she came up with a more suitable word and continued, can you help your little lover's brother? You are a doctor, saving lives and helping the injured is your duty. Lu Shanha's eyes were cold and indifferent. Lin Cheng, don't be so cold-blooded. Lin Cheng sneered. Listen, this is so ridiculous. Be sarcastic. Tell the wife of the matchmaker to help the younger brother of the mistress, and even say it's her duty. Tell her not to be cold-blooded. Why was she blind in the first place? That's why Lu Shanha suddenly lifted his legs to bed, his hands propped up beside her. He looked down at her from a high position and lightly bit her earlobe, saying, Or, are you not satisfied with what I just served? Twenty minutes later, Lu Shanha carried Lin Cheng to the scene of Yang Yutong's younger brother's car accident. Yang Yutong's younger brother only scratched slightly and had already followed the ambulance. Yang Yutong stood alone on the roadside and saw Lu Shanha getting off the car, pouncing like a bird into Lu Shanha's arms. When she saw Lin Cheng later, her crying little face had a hint of dissatisfaction. Shanha, why did she come too? Her hair went into her coat, and Lin Cheng casually flicked it. Yang Yutong saw the kiss mark on the side of her neck and behind her ear. Densely packed. This is still a visible place, what kind of madness does the invisible place have to be? Lin Cheng is definitely showing off to her. She did it on purpose. Yang Yutong's jealousy grew and spread like wild grass in his heart. She sobbed and let go of Lu Shanha, carefully pinching a little corner of his clothes. Looking up, she looked at him with a tearful expression and said, I'm sorry, I've caused you trouble again, but I'm so scared. Lu Shanha's eyebrows and eyes softened visibly. It's okay, don't be afraid, I'll have someone handle it. Lin Cheng looked at the two of them, each other and each other, and they fell in love. He couldn't help but say, so, President Lu, can I leave now? Lu Shanha glanced at her and then turned to Yang Yutong, saying, then I'll take you back first. I, I'm afraid. Yang Yutong hugged his arm and said, don't leave me behind. Tonight. Will you be with me? Lu Shanha responded well. He went to see Lin Cheng and said, you go back. Lin Cheng stared at him for a few seconds, didn't say a word, turned around and left. Lu Shanha instinctively lifted his leg, and Yang Yutong shook his arm and said, I'm scared to death, Wu Wu. He lowered his head and coaxed a few words, then looked up, and the clear and beautiful figure had disappeared. Dragging his tired body in the middle of the night and being tossed around like this, Lin Cheng almost didn't get up the next day. At the hospital morning meeting, she suppressed the urge to yawn and pursed her lips hard. Jiang Jichen bumped into her next to her, then rustled and stuffed something into her hand. She took it over and, taking advantage of the director's lack of attention, put her hand in her mouth. Her favorite delicacy is Xingqiao, which is sweet and fragrant, and melts right into the mouth. After the morning meeting, Jiang Jichen magically brought her a cup of hot coffee and said, Did someone steal a cow last night? Look at your listless appearance. Lin Cheng read his medical records while drinking coffee, without looking up and saying, I watched a farce, it's quite ridiculous. Jiang Jichen leaned over and said, What kind of farce? Lin Cheng closed the medical record and spoke coldly, I slept for a while, I forgot. A nurse came to call Jiang Jichen next to him, and he immediately regained his gentle and abstinent demeanor before becoming an adult. Here we go. After finishing speaking, he went to see Lin Cheng and even raised his hand to touch her hair, saying, You eat well, you've lost weight. Before Lin Cheng could hit him, he quickly withdrew. 
Lin Yicheng smiled and shook his head, then went for ward rounds and underwent surgery. I was busy until almost midnight when I saw five or six missed calls on my phone. It's all from Lin Coaching and LV Xiaowan. She went back and as soon as she connected, Lin Coaching scolded her head and face, Lin Cheng, are you trying to anger me to death? I told you to fight for that project, and what happened? Lin Cheng had no idea what had happened. But according to Lin Coaching's words, it seems that the project has failed. She said, Dad, it's not normal for business to have gains and losses. Lu Shanha is my son. In law. I can't even get a project from his subsidiary now. Everyone is laughing at me now. My face is embarrassing you. The phone was picked up by someone and the sound changed over there. It's LV Xiaowan. She earnestly said, Orange, your father and I have worked so hard, isn't it for you? We only have you as our child, and from now on, all this property will belong to you. Lin Cheng said, I don't want you to work so hard either. What are you talking about? Lin Coaching snatched his phone and said, You go find Lu Shanha now. Get me an explanation. Why don't you go by yourself? Lin Cheng. Lin Coaching was about to die of anger. I raised you so much for nothing, didn't I? Are you going or not? You want your grandfather's hard work to go to waste, and your grandmother won't close her eyes underground, right? The phone was then hung up, and Lin Cheng's ear returned to silence. She took a deep breath, took off her white coat, and took advantage of her lunch break to go to Lushan's company. After work, the on-duty front desk was also a bit lax, chatting with people next to them. Lin Cheng happened to hear it. Originally, in the morning, Yang Yutong got off the car at Lushan River. So, were they all together in the second half of last night? Sleep. Lin Cheng went up to the top floor and as soon as he got out of the elevator, he saw Yang Yutong. She sat at her workstation, with Lu Shanha standing beside her, speaking softly to her. She sometimes covers her mouth and smiles, sometimes blinks and looks at Lu Shanha, cute and playful like a little girl. Looking sideways, it coincided with a certain face from my memory. Lin Cheng coughed lightly twice. Those two people looked up at the same time. Why did you come? Lu Shanha frowned when he saw her. What's up? Let's go to your office and talk, Lin Cheng said. There's something going on. Yang Yutong stood up with a pale face, timidly biting her lips and saying, I'm ready to go. Lu Shanha grabbed her and said, Where are you going? Everything about me and her can be said to people, just listen. Don't say that, Yang Yutong shook his sleeve and looked at him with innocent eyes. Sister will be angry. Lin Cheng couldn't help but speak coldly, Who's your name, sister? Chapter 6 Not afraid of your little lover being jealous. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yang Yutong's eyes immediately turned red as she shook her head and said, I didn't mean to, Dr. Lin. I'm sorry. She took a step back after speaking and bowed to Lin Cheng. Not only did she bow, but she also hesitated to get up. Lu Shanha immediately became angry and said, Lin Cheng, what are you doing? Tong Tong is still young, so she called you, sister. Is there a problem? My parents only gave birth to me, and I can't afford to be her sister, Lin Cheng said with a sarcastic smile on his lips. You keep going. After she finished speaking, she turned around and left. Lu Shanha lifted his leg and chased after him. The collar was caught by someone. He turned around and Yang Yutong looked at him with tears streaming down her face. Mountains and rivers. Wait for me here. Lu Shanha left this sentence and hurriedly chased after him. Yang Yutong's palm was empty, and she slowly clenched her fist, piercing her nails into her flesh. She gritted her teeth, took a deep breath, and told herself not to rush, take it slow, take it slow. Lu Shanha chased after Lin Cheng and grabbed his arm, saying, What kind of temper are you having? Am I having a temper? 
Lin Yi Chang was about to laugh angrily. Do I have the qualifications to have a temper? Lu Shanha suddenly asked her, Did you intentionally? Yesterday. Lin Yi Chang was confused and said, What? Let Tong Tong see the marks on you, Lu Shanha said in a cold voice. Don't play such tricks in the future. Lin Yi Chang took a deep breath, his eyes turning red with anger. Then please, President Lu, don't touch me in the future. Facing her clear and bright eyes, Lu Shanha had no choice but to avoid the topic. What can I do for you? It's okay. Lin Yi Cheng. Lu Shanha pulled the person into his arms and imprisoned her waist with his big palm. My patience is limited. Yes, he gave all his patience to other women. What is her dedication over the past three years? Yes, it's a joke. Lin Yi Cheng suddenly smiled and the corners of his eyes turned red. Lu Shanha, are you not afraid that your little lover will be jealous when you hold me like this? Lu Shanha realized later that he was holding her tightly and the two were intimately close. And this is a company with people around. He let go of the person, and between his eyebrows and eyes, he couldn't see the stretch of being with Yang Yutong just now. What's going on? Let you come to the company at noon. Lin Yi Cheng didn't even plan to say it just now. With that kind of atmosphere, she couldn't say anything to ask for someone. But perhaps, the warmth just embraced by Lu Shanha gave her some courage. She said, It's my dad who wants to do a project under your command. Lu Shanha's eyes remained indifferent and said, Do you mind this kind of thing? My dad called me and asked me to tell you. Lu Shanha said directly, This project involves core new energy technologies, and your company still cannot reach this level. He has a cold voice, a tough attitude, and a business-like demeanor, which can truly be called a domineering CEO. Lin Yi Cheng felt like he had just become completely obsessed. So what is she still looking forward to? She smiled and said, Okay, I got it. After speaking, she turned around to leave. Lu Shanha suddenly reached out and grabbed her, Is that all? Lin Yi Cheng looked puzzled and said, Otherwise. Is this your attitude of seeking people to handle things? Lin Yi Cheng asked, So, is there still room for maneuver in this matter? It wasn't originally possible, Lu Shanha said. But there's one thing, if you do it well, your company can also participate in this project. What's going on? Lu Shanha let go of her and said, At Ji Xuyan's place, tell her. Ji Xuyan. What about that piece of clothing? Lin Yi Cheng smiled and said, What, did Mr. Lu hit a nail on the head? Xiu Yan doesn't make clothes for her. Now you have something to ask of me, Lu Shanha said with a displeased expression. Pay attention to your attitude. If Xu Yan agrees to make clothes for her, you will have to give the project to my dad, even if his company's technology is not mature enough. Lu Shanha said, I will coordinate. Lin Yi Cheng didn't ask again, only lowered his eyes and said, Okay. When I was taking the elevator down, I happened to meet Lu Shanha's special assistant. Special assistance is holding a packaging box for a well-known pastry. Seeing Lin Yi Cheng, he instinctively hid the box behind him. This cake is soft and delicious, sweet but not greasy. The boss is rich and capricious, and only provides limited quantities every day. When Lin Yi Cheng becomes greedy, he will also buy a box. L. Yu Zhu had good luck today, Lin Yi Cheng said with a smile, have you been in line for a long time? L. Yu Wangxi had to take out his things and said, Madam, I'm just running errands for someone. Replacing someone. Running errands. Who else in this company besides Lu Shanha can support Lu Ti's assistance? Lu Shanha never eats sweets, it goes without saying who bought this cake for. Lin Yi Cheng left the Lu family building with a straight back, and it was not until Ji Xuyan's home that she collapsed her shoulders, took off her shoes, and nestled in their sofa. Ji Xuyan used to be a young princess from a wealthy family, unaware of her suffering. Later, the Ji family went bankrupt and she also fell from a high place. 
Fortunately, she had a few friends to support her, and now she has slowly made a name for herself in the fashion design industry. Even after experiencing the ups and downs of life, Ji Shuyan still possesses a purity and cleanliness that is unfamiliar with worldly affairs. Orange, what's wrong with you? She handed Lin Cheng a cup of hot tea and said, Are you hungry? What do you want to eat? Should we go out to eat or order takeout? Lin Cheng shook his head and said, Xiaoyan, I want to ask you something. What's up? Ji Shuyan looked at her expression and suddenly remembered, Are you saying that Lu Shanha is going to make clothes for his new love? Lin Cheng let out a gentle hum. Orange, Ji Shuyan was extremely angry, with her baby fat cheeks bulging with anger. Lu Shanha is too bad. Can't you stop liking him? Lin Cheng rubbed her hair and said, Yen Yen, you don't understand. I don't understand, but if love is like this, then I would rather never love someone for the rest of my life. Lin Cheng smiled and said, Not all love is so bitter and sour. Yen Yen, I'm fine. You can make Yang Yutong's clothes for her. I won't do it for her. Ji Shuyan got angry and snorted, Your clothes are all unique, why give them to her? Lin Cheng shook her arm and said, Of course it's because. Yen Yen wants to make me better. I've worn this dress, so what about giving it to her? Yeah. Ji Shuyan's eyes lit up and she said, I can do better for you. But. She looked at Lin Cheng very seriously and angrily ordered, Can you stop wearing clothes that don't fit your temperament in the future? Lin Cheng paused for a few seconds before nodding, Okay, from now on, whatever I wear will be up to you. Ji Shuyan finally became happy and said, That's great. I've designed many things that suit your style before, and I'll show you. Lin Cheng coaxed Ji Shuyan to make a set of evening dresses for Yang Yutong according to her size. Quickly, two days later, Lin Cheng received a call from Lin Coaching, stating that the project had been completed. Lushan River has indeed made every promise and acted with lightning speed. Lin Cheng, however, only felt sarcastic. Speaking of which, the reason why the Lin family got this project was actually because of Yang Yutong. Isn't it ironic? Lin Cheng had just hung up on Lin Coaching's phone when his phone rang again. This time it's Ji Shuyan calling. As soon as Lin Cheng picked it up, he heard Ji Shuyan giggling over there. What's so happy about? she asked. Ji Shuyan smiled and said, Isn't Yang Yutong wearing that outfit? It's the same one as you. Guess what? Chapter 7 Women with Water-Like Charms You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Cheng certainly doesn't know what's going on. Ji Shuyan continued, There's a charity auction tonight, will you come with me? Lin Cheng asked, Didn't you say Yang Yutong? Why did you change the topic again? Ji Shuyan said mysteriously, You will know then. However, before going to the party, come to my place and I will have someone do your makeup. Lin Cheng did not have surgery today and took an hour off in the afternoon to go to Ji Shuyan's place. After going, she was pressed by Ji Shuyan in front of the dressing table and started putting on her makeup. Makeup artists are well-known teachers in the industry who have applied makeup to many celebrities. She said, Miss Lin has really good skin, that's the real blow. Moreover, it's a pity that you don't go to the entertainment industry with your looks. Lin Cheng said, I don't know anything. If I go there, I can only be a vase. Some people, even if they want to be a vase, they can't be one. The makeup artist chatted with her and painted her a light makeup that matched her skin type and temperament. Clothing, makeup, and hairstyle were all packed up, and Lin Cheng stood up. Ji Xuyan's eyes were full of amazement. Today, our oranges are going to dominate the entire audience. Let's go. Let's go. Lin Cheng only thought of her as a child's nature, and only then did he know why she had to dress up like this at the auction. Because Lu Shanha also went with Yang Yutong. Lin Cheng first met Jiang Jichen. 
Jiang Jichen saw her and looked up and down, then smiled and said, whose fairy ran out. No one wants it, I'll just snatch it home. Xiao Pao. Lin Cheng patted him and said, why did you come too? I came with my mother, Jiang Jichen asked her. Did you come with Yen Yen? Let Yen Yen dress you up in the future. You used to be like that, and I think it's a waste. Yes, Ji Xu Yen said beside her, I agree. Leave it to me, and I will make you shine every day in the future, stunning all four. Lin Cheng said helplessly, I am a doctor. Going to the hospital every day is to treat illnesses and save lives, not to participate in beauty pageants. Jiang Jichen said, when a patient sees a beautiful doctor, their mood is good, and their illness naturally improves quickly. Lin Cheng glared at him and said, only you are poor. Jiang Jichen immediately went to see Ji Xu Yen and said, Yen Yen, look, she knows she's bullying me. The three of them grew up together from a young age and had an extraordinary relationship. They chatted together and the atmosphere was warm and harmonious. After chatting for a while, Ji Xu Yen went to the side to answer the phone, leaving only Jiang Jichen and Lin Cheng. Do you have anything you like later? Tell me and I'll take a picture for you. Jiang Jichen said, you look so good in today's clothes, so I'll give you a reward. It's all jewelry, you know, I don't like those things. Lin Cheng smiled and said, you can give Yen Yen a gift. Although Ji Xu Yen has achieved certain results in the industry, compared to her previous life, she is currently not financially well dot off. Lu Shanha and Yang Yutong came in, but for some reason, the first person he saw was Lin Cheng. She was wearing a dress that combined a large A dot line and a fishtail, with a thin veil covering her slender and slender arms. It was connected downwards to the transparent crystal studded bra, with a narrow waistline. The black lining on her upper body was designed with wave-like folds, spreading all the way to her hips, revealing her beautiful body curves without a doubt. Finally, there was the shimmering satin skirt with a huge swing, shimmering with ripples in its movements, as if scattered with the stars in the sky, making it impossible to move one's gaze. Not only her figure, but also her already snow-white skin, set against the backdrop of black fabric, is so white that it shines brightly. Slim wrists, elegant swan necks, and a slim waist that doesn't fit well. On weekdays, only Lu Shanha can see these beauties of hers. But today, she showed off in front of people in a grand manner, smiling so charming. The steps at the foot of Lushan River couldn't help but increase. Yang Yutong exclaimed in surprise, almost being taken down by him. Lu Shanha finally realized and stopped to wait for her. What Yang Yutong was wearing was the evening gown that Lin Cheng wore last time. In Yang Yutong's opinion, she is not as good dot looking as Lin Cheng, after all, Lin Cheng's face is so beautiful that it is flawless. But Lushan doesn't like it. What's the use of being even more beautiful? Apart from her face, Yang Yutong feels younger than Lin Cheng, and her figure and skin are not inferior to Lin Cheng. Lin Cheng is wearing beautiful clothes, she definitely looks even better in them. Just like. Compared to Lin Cheng, she is more compatible with Lu Shanha. Sure enough, Yang Yutong put on the silver-gray evening gown and made up, looking completely new and praised by many people. After all, she had never worn such expensive and beautiful clothes before. She can't wait to prove in front of Lu Shanha, in front of everyone, that she is more suitable than Lin Cheng. Suitable for this garment, suitable for Lushan River. But in fact, in the eyes of a professional like Ji Xu Yan, Yang Yutong's physique, physique, and temperament are not as good as Lin Cheng's. Wearing the same clothes is simply imitating others. Wearing the same clothes on Lin Cheng feels cold and dusty, like a fairy descending to the mortal world. But Yang Yutong's temperament leans towards a petite and delicate personality, which is not suitable for her at all. So knowing that Yang Yutong would come to this auction, she couldn't wait for Lin Cheng to come and take a look. After finishing the phone call, she looked up and saw Lu Shanha staring at Lin Cheng. 
it's not surprising that she saw Lu Shanha at a glance. It's true that this dog man has excellent skin and height. Standing in the crowd, he stands out from the crowd. She swore that she saw the amazement in Lu Shanha's eyes. Her goal has been achieved. Just to let this dog man know how beautiful, excellent, and charming their oranges are. Lin Cheng also saw Lu Shanha and Yang Yutong. Like the last art exhibition, Yang Yutong still holds onto the arm of landing on the mountains and rivers. She also received the man's gaze. Lu Shanha's eyes were cold, looking at her fiercely as if he was looking at enemies. Yang Yutong also saw Lin Cheng. At the moment she saw it, she was stunned. She didn't expect to meet Lin Cheng here, let alone that Lin Cheng was wearing even more beautiful clothes than last time. Even she was amazed, let alone a man. She instinctively went to see Lushan River. As a result, there was a hint of anger in the man's eyes. During my time with Lu Shanha, I also gained some understanding of his temperament. He now has thin lips tightly pursed, his gaze cold, and there is no visible emotional fluctuation on the outside, but Yang Yutong knows that he is angry. So, seeing such a beautiful Lin Cheng, not only did he not be amazed, but he was also angry. Yang Yutong instantly felt relieved. Lu Shanha hates Lin Cheng so much. When he saw her, he became angry and completely ignored her attire. Yang Yutong whispered, Shanha, should we go over and say hello to Dr. Lin? However, I see she's having a great conversation with the man next to her. Yang Yutong said these words and successfully realized that Lu Shanha's face had become a bit ugly. Sure enough, no man would like a woman who is fickle and charming. Chapter 8 Who are you saying nausea? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Lu Shanha originally didn't like Lin Cheng, but now that he sees her chatting so intimately with other men, he probably hates her even more, right? Yang Yutong continued, Dr. Lin is so amazing. He can chat so well with anyone. I seem very stupid and always dare not talk to strangers, especially men. Before she could finish speaking, she let out a scream of surprise. Lu Shanha took big strides again and forcefully led her forward. She was wearing high heels, and the dress was not easy to walk. Lu Shanha completely ignored her feelings and almost dragged her forward. Yang Yutong needs to run a little to keep up with him, so there's no need to worry about elegance and nobility. She was left with nothing but embarrassment. Everyone's gaze seemed to be focused on her. She even heard someone whispering. That's Mr. Lu's assistant. Did you look at the skirt on her? I went to the art exhibition before, as if Lin Cheng was wearing the same one. That's right, it's the same. However, it still depends on who is wearing it. It has to be said that Lin Cheng looks good in everything she wears, and for some people, wearing it is like imitating a frown. It's really hilarious. Various sounds reached Yang Yutong's ears. Looking at Lu Shanha walking towards Lin Cheng with a tense face, Yang Yutong couldn't help but scream, Shanha, I hurt. Lu Shanha just stopped and lowered his gaze to look at her. His gaze had regained tenderness and affection, saying, what's wrong? Where does it hurt? You're walking too fast, Yang Yutong sniffed and whispered, my feet hurt. Okay, then I'll slow down a bit, Lu Shanha said softly the indifference and disregard just now seemed to disappear out of thin air. Yang Yutong finally felt a little relieved and said, I've caused you trouble again. What's the trouble? Lu Shanha slowed down his pace. Taking care of you is what I should do. As they approached Lin Cheng and Jiang Jichen, Yang Yutong said, You always take care of me so meticulously, and I don't know how to repay you. The sound was neither loud nor small, just right for Lin Cheng to hear. Lu Shanha glanced at Lin Cheng, with deep emotions hidden in his pitch black eyes. Lin Cheng couldn't tell what he meant. He spoke to Yang Yutong and said, You're by my side, that's enough. Lin Cheng's fingers trembled. Suddenly, she lowered her head and saw a finger stretched out next to her, 
hooked her fingertip, and quickly left. It's Jiang Jichen. Lin Cheng didn't know what he was doing yet, so he listened to him speak. Orange, I really want to vomit. Lin Cheng suddenly felt a little nervous. What's wrong? Is your stomach uncomfortable? I don't know either, Jiang Jichen looked at her seriously. Maybe it was because of hearing something disgusting that I got nauseous. Lin Cheng suddenly realized what he meant by these words. She wants to laugh, but feels impolite. Jiang Jichen blinked at her and said, If you want to laugh, just smile. Lin Cheng chuckled with a puff. Lu Shanha's face suddenly turned black and he said, Jiang Jichen, what do you mean? Jiang Jichen took a good time to look over and said, What do I mean? What does it have to do with you? Yang Yutong timidly spoke up, You, you are so impolite. Who are you talking about? Jiang Jichen raised his eyebrows and said, Just say who should answer. Before Yang Yutong could react, he looked at her up and down and said, Orange, isn't this clothes? The one you threw away. How could someone like to pick up clothes that others don't want? TSK, I don't know where she got the courage to wear clothes you don't want. Yang Yutong bit her lower lip tightly, tears streaming down her face as she said, Shanha, how could he bully people like this? Lu Shanha patted her arm and then went to see Jiang Jichen, saying, what kind of skill is bullying a little girl? Little girl. Lu Shanha, open your eyes and see, she's all. Lin Cheng gave him a tug. Jiang Jichen immediately shut up. When Lu Shanha saw it, he felt an unnamed fire in his heart. It had been burning since just now, and now it is even more intense. Especially at the beginning of the auction, when Jiang Jichen saw him bidding for a diamond necklace that was clearly favored by young girls, he bid and immediately followed suit. Two people seemed to be on par, one bidding higher than the other. The result of malicious competition is that the bidding price at this time has far exceeded the value of the diamond necklace itself. Ji Xuyan whispered beside her, Jiang Jichen, don't raise your hand. Jiang Jichen gritted his teeth and said, he did it on purpose. I absolutely can't lose to him. Lin Cheng pulled down his arm beside him and said, he's sick, and you're sick too. After speaking, Lin Cheng got up and left. Jiang Jichen didn't dare to move again, but Lu Shanha successfully took the necklace. When Lin Cheng came out of the bathroom, he saw a tall and handsome man standing at the corner, holding the diamond necklace that had just been photographed. Lin Cheng saw him and adjusted his expression before walking over. Do you want it? Lin Cheng looked up and saw Lu Shanha looking at her, playing with the necklace in his hand, his gaze intriguing. Lin Cheng shook his head. It wasn't originally what she wanted, it was Jiang Jichen who wanted to shoot for Ji Xuyan. Who knew that Lu Shanha was relentlessly chasing after him, and in the end, the bidding was successful. Do you want to know what to tell me? Lu Shanha's voice and eyes were both cold. Let other men take this picture for you and spread it out. I don't want face. Lin Cheng pondered for a few seconds before speaking, so, are you taking this picture for me? Shanha. So you're here. Lin Cheng looked over and Yang Yutong ran over, hugging Lu Shanha's arm. She looked up and smiled, her eyes and lips brimming with happiness and sweetness. She saw the necklace in Lu Shanha's hand and coquettishly said, I just said it looks good, did you spend so much money to buy it? After she finished speaking, she went to see Lin Cheng again, blinked, and let go of Lu Shanha's arm. She bowed to Lin Cheng and said, Dr. Lin, I'm sorry, I just love this outfit too much. I didn't expect it to make your friend misunderstand. If it causes you trouble, I can skip wearing it. She became more and more aggrieved as she spoke, and in the end, there was a crying tone in her voice. Lu Shanha immediately frowned and looked at Lin Cheng, it's just a piece of clothing. Why are you holding on to it like this? After speaking, he went to see Yang Yutong and said, All right, it's okay. If you like it, let Ji Xuyan make a few more pieces. This necklace. 
Yan Yutong looked up at him with a pair of bright red eyes. Lu Shanha glanced at Lin Cheng, whose eyes were clear and cold. Lu Shanha immediately averted his gaze and handed the necklace to Yang Yutong, saying, Take it. If I have something I like in the future, I'll buy it for you. Yang Yutong's face was full of surprise. Really, really give it to me. But, this is too valuable. Mountains and rivers. Yang Yutong's gaze shifted away from the necklace, only to see Lu Shanha staring at Lin Cheng's back. Lin Cheng didn't know when he left, leaving them with a graceful and charming figure. Yang Yutong adjusted her sweetest smile and said, Shanha, I'm so moved. Why don't you come to my place tonight and I'll cook for you myself. Chapter 9 I can't touch you anymore. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Lin Cheng returned to the auction house, and Jiang Jichen had already auctioned another diamond necklace for Ji Xuyan. And Lu Shanha and Yang Yutong never returned. After the auction ended, Jiang Jichen insisted on taking the two of them to the bar. Actually, after going to the bar, she and Jiang Jichen had to work the next day and couldn't drink. As soon as she arrived at the bar, Ji Xuyan answered a call from a client and hurriedly left. Jiang Jichen pulled Lin Cheng to drink juice and watched others dance. Lin Cheng felt nauseous even after drinking, and he didn't want to leave yet. Finally, Lin Cheng couldn't bear it anymore and said, You can drink it yourself, I'm leaving. Jiang Jichen just got up and said he wanted to take her home. Lin Cheng saw that he had something on his mind. Sure enough, when he arrived, he turned off the engine but didn't let Lin Cheng get off the car. Tell me, what's going on? Lin Cheng said, When did you turn into a gourd? In the bar, he doesn't say anything about it. Jiang Jichen leaned over and said, Lin Cheng, it's been three years, haven't you had enough? Lin Cheng looked out the window and said, If you're okay, I'll go home. When do you want to escape? Lu Shanha is now openly showing his face with that woman. Has he considered your feelings? Ah Chen, can you just forget about my business? Lin Yi Cheng. Lin Yi Cheng raised his hand to open the car door. Jiang Jichen reached out and grabbed her, taking a long breath before compromising, Okay, I won't talk about you. Lin Yi Cheng turned to look at him. Jiang Jichen said, My family is starting to push for marriage. Lin Yi Cheng said, You should have found a girlfriend too. At your age, many people get married and have children. If there's something I like, can I not look for it? Jiang Jichen said, Moreover, considering your marriage, I don't want to get married at all. Don't be influenced by me, I am one of the few, after all. Lin Cheng said, Most couples are. Same bed, different dreams. Respecting each other like guests. Jiang Jichen took the conversation and said, how many truly happy marriages are there? Lin Cheng stopped talking. Inside, Lu Shanha stared at the black car that had been stalled for a long time but no one had come down, his eyes cold. Finally, the car door opened and it was indeed Jiang Jichen. He opened the passenger door and respectfully welcomed the princess, asking Lin Cheng to get off the car. The two continued chatting and laughing for a while before Jiang Jichen drove away. Lin Yi Cheng finally calmed her down, with a hint of a smile on her face. She opened the door and entered the foyer, only to be suddenly pulled over by someone. She exclaimed in surprise, and the next second, she smelled the familiar scent on the man's body. There is also a tobacco smell. She didn't even stand firm, and the sound of Lu Shanha's breathing rang in her ear. Then, his kiss came down. The man's aura enveloped her, effortlessly lifting Lin Yi Cheng up, separating her legs, and wrapping around his thin waist. He didn't even have time to go to the room and pressed Lin Yi Cheng directly onto the sofa. The man's kisses and caresses were like punishment, and Lin Yi Cheng held his hands against his chest, resisting his intimacy. Lu Shanha reached out and pinched her chin, forcing her to open her mouth and entangle her lips with him. Lin Yi Cheng closed his eyes and fiercely bit him. The man let out a muffled groan, 
his movements paused, and the next second, he became even more enthusiastic and eager. Lin Cheng was ultimately unwilling to hurt him again, stopped struggling and resisting, but did not respond to him like before. Lu Shanha finally had enough kisses, his thin lips moving up along her lips, only to kiss warm tears. Looking up, Lin Cheng was silently crying, tears streaming down the corners of his eyes, lacking his usual cold and indifferent demeanor, exuding a touch of tenderness and pity. Lu Shanha couldn't help but kissed the corner of her eye and said, Why are you crying? I can't even touch you anymore. Lin Cheng raised his hand and pushed him. She didn't feel like crying, it was just that moment when she felt particularly sad. She sat up, her clothes slipping off her shoulders, revealing large patches of fair skin. Lu Shanha's eyes were deep as he stared at her and said, I haven't even reconciled with you yet, but you're crying. He couldn't bear it anymore, but even with Lin Cheng like this, he couldn't force himself. At the auction, seeing Lin Cheng in her snow-white skin exposed outside the dress made him angry. As a result, she came back so late and was still in the car with Jiang Jichen, not knowing what to do. Thinking of this, Lu Shanha's voice became even colder. You should stay away from Jiang Jichen in the future. Lin Cheng couldn't help but ask, what about you and Yang Yutong? Lu Shanha remained silent for a few seconds before speaking, she's different. Lin Cheng sneered, remained silent, and stood up to leave. Lu Shanha grabbed her with a hand. Lin Cheng turned around with a cold expression and said, What else are you doing? Aren't you afraid that I'll deliberately show Yang Yutong the kiss marks again? He stood up and looked down at Lin Cheng, saying, You are Mrs. Lu. At least for now, no one can change your identity. Lin Yi Cheng remained silent. Lu Shanha pulled the person into his arms and said, So, you have to fulfill Mrs. Lu's duties. Lin Yi Cheng couldn't help but ask, What responsibilities? What responsibilities are you talking about? Lu Shanha pressed the person onto the sofa again. Husband and wife have a duty. Lin Yi Cheng looked at him and said, have you touched Yang Yutong? Lin Cheng, you don't have the qualifications to negotiate with me, Lu Shanha said after a long time with a cold gaze Lin Cheng froze with him for a few seconds, and his eyelashes trembled as he closed his eyes. Yes, the Lin family had a big funding gap back then. Lin Coaching came to the door and begged the Lu family, and it was the old man who agreed to this marriage. I heard that Lu Shanha and the old man had a big argument back then. Presumably, from that time on, Lu Shanha had resentment in his heart. Lin Cheng suddenly curled his lips and smiled, then put down his hand and said, Okay, come on. She looked like she was being slaughtered, and Lu Shanha sneered and threw the pillow on top of her head. Lin Cheng opened his eyes and saw Lu Shanha standing with a tense face, buttoning his shirt. Lin Yi Cheng didn't move and looked at the roof with empty eyes. Soon, she heard the footsteps of Lu Shanha leaving. With a loud bang, the door was closed. Then, the sound of the car's engine echoed in the yard. In the next few days, Lin Yi Cheng did not see Lushan River. After an autumn rain, the temperature suddenly dropped and winter was approaching. Lin Yi Cheng underwent surgery and took a sniff, feeling a bit dizzy and dizzy. She had just returned to the consultation room to sit down when an unexpected guest arrived. Yang Yutong. Dr. Lin, she spoke with low eyebrows and a gentle voice, long time no see. There's no regret in not seeing each other for a lifetime. Lin Yi Cheng looked up at her and said, What's up? I'll accompany my younger brother to change dressing. Yang Yutong smiled and said, it's such a small matter that Shan he insists on following me. I'm asking if you're okay, Lin Yi Cheng's voice became even colder. If you're okay, please leave. I'm very busy. Yang Yutong bit her lower lip and her eyes immediately turned red. Dr. Lin, don't blame me. It's not my fault that Shan Ha doesn't like you. Lin Yi Cheng couldn't bear to listen, took the test report, got up, and walked out. Yang Yutong followed up and said, Dr. Lin, will you listen to me? 
Lin Cheng couldn't listen to a word and looked at the elevator full of people. She turned around and walked towards the fire escape. Yang Yutong followed behind her. When Lu Shanha came up, he didn't see anyone and was about to make a phone call when he suddenly heard the screams of a girl coming from the nearby staircase. Chapter 10 Are you willing to divorce me? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The voice is very familiar, is it Yang Yutong? Following the sound, Lu Shanha pushed open the two doors of the fire escape. Mountains and rivers. Lu Shanha lowered his gaze and frowned fiercely. Lin Cheng fell to the ground, his snow-white face full of pain. She covered her ankle and just lifted her eyes to look over. Lu Shanha has always known that Lin Cheng is very good dot looking. In his opinion, judging people by their appearance is the lowest level of aesthetics. But at this moment, Lin Cheng blinked a pair of black and white eyes, with crystal clear tears in his eyes. Lu Shanha was momentarily stunned. Mountains and rivers. Yang Yutong let out another cry. Why did Lu Shanha's gaze only fall on Lin Cheng when she also fell beside him? Yang Yutong's voice pulled back Lu Shanha's thoughts. He immediately went to see Yang Yutong, strode down the stairs, and squatted next to her, saying, What's going on? Yang Yutong looked at him with a tearful expression and said, Shanha, I really didn't want to make my sister angry, but I don't know why she got so angry. Don't blame my sister, I accidentally fell off, it really has nothing to do with her. After she finished speaking, she sobbed twice, tears streaming down her face as she looked at Lu Shanha. Can you move? Lu Shanha went to look at her ankle. Where did you fall? It hurts a lot, Yang Yutong spoke coquettishly. Don't be angry, Shanha. Sister definitely didn't mean it, it was my own carelessness. Lu Shanha calmly raised his eyes and looked at the quiet woman next to him. Lin Cheng didn't want to cry. It was embarrassing to cry in front of Yang Yutong, especially in front of these two people. But who knew, she twisted her foot and it would hurt so much. It hurts her so much. She held back her tears as she watched Yang Yutong speak those ambiguous words. Funny. Lin Cheng, what are you doing? Lu Shanha's voice was cold. I didn't expect you to do such a thing. Now, are you satisfied? After he finished speaking, he supported Yang Yutong's arm and made her stand up. Yang Yutong spoke coquettishly, my feet hurt and I can't walk anymore. Lin Cheng sat on the ground, his twisted foot hurting deeply. Yang Yutong distorts right and wrong, while Lu Shanha is biased and believes. She told herself not to care, but she looked up at Lu Shanha and gently comforted Yang Yutong, as if she was self-abusing. Finally, she lifted Yang Yutong horizontally. Yang Yutong leaned against the chest of Lu Shanha, looking down at Lin Cheng from a high position. From an angle that Lu Shanha couldn't see, her eyes were filled with pride and pride. But she said in her mouth, Shanha, don't worry about me. My sister's injury is even worse than mine. Although it's her. It's not that, it's my carelessness. Yang Yutong, Lin Cheng interrupted her with a cold voice. Lu Shanha frowned and said, what else do you want to say? Lin Cheng, you can stop at the right time. Mr. Lu, Lin Cheng sneered, I don't want to say anything, I just want to tell you that there is a camera installed in this hallway. What exactly happened just now? You go take a look and you'll know. Upon hearing this, Yang Yutong was taken aback. How come there are cameras in the fire exits? So what she just said she immediately reached out and grabbed Lu Shanha's shirt, sobbing and saying, Shanha, I hurt so much. Lu Shanha gave Lin Cheng a deep glance and said, You wait here. Before he could finish speaking, the door of the fire escape was kicked open by someone, and a lively figure rushed down. Orange. Jiang Jichen squatted beside her with an anxious face and said, How are you? Where did you hurt yourself? Lin Cheng sent him a message, but he didn't expect him to come so quickly. I twisted my ankle, 
she raised her hand and put it on his arm. Can you help me? Jiang Jichen quickly reached out to support her, while Lin Chang tried to stand up on his own, but the next second he took a deep breath of cold air in pain. Jiang Jichen looked at it and without hesitation, he lifted the person horizontally and said, Don't move. He was about to leave with a person in his arms, and when he looked up, he saw Lu Shanha standing not far away holding Yang Yutong. Why are they here too? Jiang Jichen kept walking, bad luck. Did you only twist your foot when you met them? He walked while speaking and quickly left the fire escape. Lu Shanha appeared from the river, his gaze extremely cold. When he saw Jiang Jichen pick him up, his eyes looked more like he was carrying a knife, ready to kill. But Jiang Jichen didn't give him a chance to speak up and just left with someone. Yang Yutong was held in Lu Shanha's arms, feeling his body stiff and cold. A little fear surged in her heart, and she couldn't help but speak softly, mountains and rivers, I hurt. Lu Shanha finally lowered his gaze and looked at her. Seeing this face, Lu Shanha's fierce and cold dot blooded body instantly subsided. He said softly, Don't be afraid, I'll take you to see a doctor. Yang Yutong saw his emotional recovery and finally breathed a sigh of relief. Thinking of Lin Yicheng's words, she became somewhat anxious and said, Shanha, I really didn't lie. Dr. Lin brought me here, and I didn't expect her to. Lu Shanha held her and walked out, go see a doctor first. Lin Yicheng's ankle is cracked. I got cast and sat in a wheelchair. Jiang Jichen accompanied her in filming and personally cast her in plaster. From beginning to end, he had a tense face, his expression not to mention stinky. All right, I'll be careful next time, Lin Cheng said with a smile. Don't be angry. Don't laugh if you don't want to, it's so ugly. Jiang Jichen raised his hand and slapped her head. I'll take you home. He took off his white coat and tied his white shirt into his black trousers, outlining his slender waist. As he turned around, his broad shoulders and narrow hips revealed his perfect figure. Lin Cheng spoke up and said, Don't delay your work. I'll call someone to pick me up. Who are you calling to pick him up? Jiang Jichen said coldly, Do you still expect that dog man from Lu Shanha? Lin Cheng stopped talking. Jiang Jichen pushed her out and said, Where are you going back? Is there anyone at the Lu family to take care of you? Lin Cheng let out a sigh. Jiang Jichen reluctantly sent the person back to the Lu family. When he arrived, he first took the wheelchair out of the trunk, and then picked up Lin Cheng from the car and placed him on the wheelchair. He bent down and supported the wheelchair armrest, saying, You scumbag like Lu Shanha, won't you divorce him? Will you still keep him for the Chinese New Year? Aachen. Jiang Jichen's gaze was filled with anger and he said, Lin Cheng, do you really have a brain? It's been three years, and even a stone has become hot. What about him? Just as Lin Cheng was about to speak, another car drove in from the yard. It's Lushan River. Jiang Jichen withdrew his gaze and continued to look at Lin Cheng, promise me to divorce him, okay. Lin Cheng shook his head and said, You go. Lin Cheng. Jiang Jichen gritted his teeth in anger. If you don't divorce, believe it or not, I will sever ties with you. Jiang Dexiao. Lu Shanha's voice sounded with a chill, At my doorstep, you're threatening my wife to divorce me. You're so brave. Lu Shanha, Jiang Jichen straightened up and looked at him with the same cold gaze, As long as you are a man, you should let her go free. Do you want to ask Mrs. Lu if she is willing to divorce me? Jiang Jichen angrily said, You. Lin Cheng suddenly reached out and grabbed Jiang Jichen's sleeve, saying, Ah Chen. Jiang Jichen took a deep breath and slowly took off her hand. Then, suddenly a punch hit Lu Shanha in the face. Lu Shanha reacted quickly and the two of them instantly got together.